Do um, you love hip hop? There's some guys in Richmond Hill, or there was a robbery that went down in Richmond Hill. And it's crazy because it's one of those things where I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. And the police, when they were talking about this, and I'm going to play a clip of it in a second, they said three masked men went and home invaded a, a place in Richmond Hill, took the car keys. And they went in with gunpoint, all that type of crazy shit, like wild shit, all right? Viewer discretion is advised. And then went back for seconds the next day. Let that, let that sink in for a second. Do I got to repeat that? Um, they went, <laughs> smashed in, got into the crib. Hey, hey, ah, 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 you, 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 give me this, give me that, give me this, give me the car keys, some nice whips out there. We'll be back tomorrow to pick them up. And then came back tomorrow to pick them up. This is an actual true story. You guys might think, hey, Friday, shut up, man. Like, come on, bro. There's no way that niggas is that stupid. I say yes. Okay. Oh, I don't drink anymore, so I can't say hold my beer. Hold my Timmy's. Is what one of the man said? Or they probably said, yo, hold my Henny. Let me show you how crazy I can be. So let me pull this up and share this with you guys. Courtesy of CP24. Made an arrest and are looking for additional suspects after a home invasion happened in Richmond Hill. And caught on video. Police releasing this video. Now, this is what a viewer discussion advised. I don't want to get too, I don't want to get the stream demonetized, to be honest. But they broke in, smashed the place up. Of the incident on Sunday. Sunday. All right, this is them going in. In Claridge Drive area. The suspect. Police say broke through the home, through the front door, captured on video. At least one police say was armed with a knife. Several items were stolen, including the victim's G-Wagon vehicle. The All right, they took the one G-Wagon. Suspects also accused of returning to the home the next day to steal that car. And they used the keys they took during the original home invasion. So do you guys see the difference? I don't know if this is maybe the camera angle, but this is one day and this might be the next. Is that what they're saying? So accused of returning to the home the next day to steal that car. And they used the keys they took during the original home. Invasion. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, boy. hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you guys hear that? Maybe it's just me because I got the headphones on. I can swear I heard somebody in the news station chuckle. Not even chuckle, they cackled. Like, they're listening to Andrew Brennan tell the news story, and somebody was like, ha, <laughs> stupid niggas. During the original home invasion, a 17-year-old boy had Hold on, play it from here. the next day to steal that car, and they used the key. You didn't hear that shit? I just heard it clear as day. Men's in a new studio are like, a lie. <laughs> they went back the next day? Whoa. There's probably the black guy in there, too. Is they took during the original home <laughs> invasion. A 17-year-old boy has been charged, but police are still trying to identify three other suspects. Bro, Joining you're on us camera. now for more on this investigation. My youth. These guys make me tired, man. It's Constable James Dixon with York Regional Police. Thank you, as always, for your time, Constable. To start off with, what uh, do we know about the suspects outstanding at this time? Let's go. Well, we have a few different descriptions, all of which uh, put them between the age of 18 and 25. Uh, we know that they were very organized, that they'd arrived together. Um, you can see from our video, the images, uh, that's what we're working with right now. And so we are definitely appealing to anyone that's in the area that might have additional video uh, to please come forward. Obviously, this is a very concerning incident. Uh, not only that they'd be breaking into a house on a Sunday morning at 6.30, but that they'd be returning on a Monday morning to steal a second vehicle. That's not something we We've, uh, typically seen before. I can certainly say that in my time, uh, both investigating. Oh, you don't say 
that's not something that you typically seen before. Gang, has any of y'all, oh, I need to make a poll about this. I don't even know what to ask y'all niggas. This is crazy. Oh, man. You know what I'm going to ask y'all? Has Toronto turned, I know it's in Richmond Hill, but it's all GTA related. Has Toronto turned to Gotham City? Bear question marks. Let's go. Let us go. This is insane shit getting stolen vehicles as well as breaking enters. This has got to be one of the first times that I've actually seen people returning to the scene of a crime. And that is not normal. That being said, it's also somewhat not normal for a home invasion to happen that late in the twilight hours. That's just after daybreak or just close enough. But from your experience, if you can tell us, when uh, for people at home should they be, I don't want to say expecting to have a home invasion, but does this not often more, more often happen? Hold on. I'm asking a stupid question. I guess, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess that is a stupid question. Entertainment says Dusty Wallace is Batman. Top five is the Joker. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell would I be in this mix. And don't say the penguin. <laughs> I'm working on it. Happen around 4 a.m. while people are sleeping. Typically, this would be considered uh, quite late for one. Uh, it's by no means an anomaly, though. Uh, anytime there's an opportunity uh, that uh, they're able to get into these areas and try and get these car keys, we see them taking advantage of it. Um, again, 4 a.m. is a time that we're, we're there, but um, 6 a.m. implies something a little bit different. Generally, generally speaking, at 4 a.m., you're not anticipating anyone to be awake. Um, I don't know about you, but my alarm... Poison Ivy... Y'all say I'd be poison ivy. Ah, oh, come on, man. You gotta do better than that, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Riddler. <laughs> Yo. If that road to success. Thank you. I, Alfred. I'll take Alfred. <laughs> all right. Even though I'm the butler or whatever, I, I got access to all of the machinery. I know how to freaking build mad freaking guns. You know what I'm saying? I know how to build a jet. I know have all of the the works. You know what I'm saying? The blueprints. Come on, man. Let me live, man. Let me live. I'm already gone off by that time. I'm going to be up and around. And it's very concerning that people would be going into a house, again, armed with a knife, um, when there's a po real, very real possibility of uh, interacting with the homeowner. Now, I'm just looking right now at some of the stats from the York Regional Police Crime Portal. You know, thefts of motor vehicle in the last year, we are approaching 4,000 in 365 days, 1,200 for break and enters uh, for residential areas. That Those numbers, the, 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 the vehicle thefts are continuing to go up. The, the break and enters are fluctuating and going up and down year over year. Hold on. The vehicles, do you all think that the vehicles was the main thing that they were really going for? Because there was a lot of things, obviously, they could probably get in the house. But a lot of people don't keep cash in their house. So as far as, unless you're going for somebody who's in the game. If you're going for somebody in the game, then okay. Yes, there'll be cash in the house. Purple Gorillas, Commissioner Gordon, no. I'm not Commissioner Gordon. That's the boy, them. That's the cops. All right? <laughs> I know he's supposed to be a good cop, but I just, I don't want to be one of the cops. <laughs> Give me somebody else. I don't want to be. I don't want to be Commissioner Gordon. But when it comes to the um, whole thing with taking the whips, do y'all think that maybe that might be connected to the whole tow truck wars? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. All right. Just putting some thoughts in the air. But it, this is still something that seems to be a prevalent problem, and people have the impression at home that it is more prevalent. What do you want to say to people, not only in your community, but perhaps around the GTA that are watching right now? 
Well, year to year to date, we have seen a decrease in the theft of vehicles. And unfortunately, we have seen an increase in these break and enters for keys as well as carjackings. Uh, currently, we do have our Auto Guard 2.0, which is an overnight um, uh, car theft program that's in place. And investigators have been uh, making arrests and recovering vehicles. In the case of this one, our holdup unit uh, not only recovered the initial stolen G-Wagon, but uh, this morning we were able to recover the second stolen vehicle that I apologize. That you lost. Wow, they got all of these guys. Yo, man, these guys' mission failed. Mission failed. Toronto car theft in 2024. Ooh. Identifying a suspect accused of sexually assaulting. Oh, stop. How much is it? There's a car theft thing in here. You know what? I skipped that whole Eminem thing, but I'll take I'll deal with that on a different day. Notice that tipping is an option at more and more. A knife and stab the other, leaving him with serious injuries uh, for which he is expected to survive. 55-year-old James Brooks was taken into custody on charges, including aggravated assault. Uh, the most played is the weather, girl. crash involved. This explained. The judges didn't decide. Y'all nasty niggas. Still ahead tonight, marking a somber. Hold on, I'll find this shit. The, what you're paying for, basically. That's the time where. One second, I'll find some shit. Oof. Good as shit. <laughs> to steal car keys. So, what I didn't want to play there, but what they were saying is that the way that these guys are doing it these days, besides the carjackings and, um, you know, what these guys were just saying with like people just stealing people's cars, people are going inside people's cribs just take the cars there's been tips that i've been seeing on a lot of cp24 little segments where they talk about um make sure to not keep your car keys by the front door don't hang your car keys by the front door because what people are doing these days is that they're just sometimes they're not even getting super aggressive and smashing your windows and all that they're just finding a way to open the door and take your car keys and then beep 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 they're off with your shit. Sorry, lady. Police in big cities are reporting a steep rise in violence linked to auto theft. In Toronto, in this... Re Yo, there's way too much graphic shit in there. I can't show none of these guns. Has to stop. Toronto Police Chief Myron Demkew says the city is seeing twice as many carjackings now compared to this time last year. Call the police directly. When Cameron Hussein's 2022 Toyota Highlander was taken, he went out looking for it, but was warned by police. The thieves might be armed, and it's not a good idea to approach the car. Consider, after a recent carjacking outside the city, officers seized this... Okay, let's move that from the screen. Um, Somebody said something that I need to point out here. Because, yeah, I was just breaking down some of the, the ways that they get your shit. But even keeping it at the front. My bad. Let me put my camera back on. Even keeping it at the front. They can clone the fob. YKTFV says they can clone the fob from outside. That's facts. That is super facts. Now, like you see what I just explained right there? They don't have to come into the crib. If you have your keys by the front door, they have technology that they can use that they could just doot, doot, zap your shit and then just jump in the car and be out of there. You got to be very careful if you got a luxury, if you got the foreign in the driveway, yo. You might want to park. Listen, um, PSA to everybody out there. Let me make my screen bigger. Pause. PSA to everybody out there, if you got the foreigns, keep them in the garage. Don't have them all in the gar in the driveway. If you got a multiple foreigns and you don't have multiple garages, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right? 
But if you only got a couple and you got like enough in the garage for two cars, keep the Honda on out on the driveway. If you're living in any of these hoods, put it this way, not even in these hoods. I'm talking about any of these like suburban, middle class, middle upper class neighborhoods. If you got the foreign, put it in the garage. Because, yo, they will take your shit. Than this, thieves intercepting a key fobs. Whoo, see that? Look at this. More violent approach than this, thieves intercepting a key fobs signal and then driving off undetected. This is fun. <laughs> oh, that is sick work right there. Wow. Organized crime. It's funding terrorism. Uh, it's bringing guns and uh, and uh, drugs into the communities. Toronto police were ridiculed in recent days in U.S. and British tabloids and on Australian TV. You mocking Canada? And we are mocking. We should Canada. mock Canada. After one officer told homeowners to consider leaving their fobs by the front door to avoid a violent confrontation, a recommendation the force later walked back, saying the officer was well-meaning cutting hedges back making sure the wow police said i can't do this bro listen yo listen 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 citizens citizens <laughs> we ain't gonna get there in time all right don't end up dead <laughs> this is what the police is trying to tell you guys <laughs> don't end up dead just give it up, man. Put the keys by the front door, man. You know what? Matter of fact, put the keys in the mailbox for them niggas, bro. And they wonder why they think Canada's a joke. You, you hear the sirens out there? Toronto ambiance right there. They're coming for somebody right now. <laughs> Holy shit. The police said, yo, just listen. Fam. I'd rather come do a, some paperwork on your house being in, you know, about you losing your car than the homicide police coming over there and, you know, looking at the bodies and shit. I ain't mad at it, but I'm mad at it. <laughs> That's the type of shit I would say if I was the cop. <laughs> Yo, just put the shit at the front door. <laughs> Matter of fact, start the car for these niggas at around 3... 30 a.m. They'll be picking it up just now. Okay, go to bed. <laughs> That's crazy. 911 is a joke. The lighting is good. Park in your car, in your garage, etc. There are a number of things for residents to consider to prevent this type of activity. Already this year, the police chief says Toronto has seen more break and enters linked to auto theft than in all of 2023. Last. So, hmm. you know, obviously, it, I think, well, I don't want to say it, I think, I think we all know this kind of connects back to the whole tow truck wars. Police. Because there's all these cars that are very important in the whole mix of things. You know what I'm saying? The cars, the cars. Look at this. G-Wagon. I don't know what this other car is. They have it covered for some reason. But, hmm. Who knows where those cars are going to end up going. All right? And as we covered in the whole tow truck wars, just having cars over at the, at the, the tow truck yards is... You know, it's kind of a it's kind of a bonus. Okay, you don't come for your car, you don't know where that car is going to end up. All right, it's tricky territory. I don't know. Salute to that family that's um, in that home right there, because obviously they've gone through a great deal of trauma, having to deal with a home invasion. As somebody who can relate, is not fun. All right. Trust me. I think we'll end it there. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.